All right, I'd like to demonstrate the Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams call pop functionality. To just orient ourselves a little bit, the Attendant Console is running here and we have a couple panels configured and these can be configured, sized, moved, but currently we have the, the call pop panel in the first panel on the left. The next one is our call control or our active calls. Then we have our groups and our search results. So what we're going to do is have a call come in and you'll see the, the call pop on the left side. So let's uh, have a call come in here. All right, there you see Matt is calling in and over here we're using Anywho to show information about him, correct or no, we won't talk about that, but we'll answer that call. And I'm just gonna turn the volume down here so we don't have, but you'll notice that we have the, the um, call pop on the left side. If we put the call on hold, it goes away. When you retrieve it, it comes back. And we're gonna put the call on hold and have another call come in. Or let, let's do it this way. We'll have a call on, we're talking to them, we're looking at our call pop, and then a second call comes in. Okay, and the second call we got coming here. All right, so we hear the call, the call's coming in. It's not changing the call pop. So I'm gonna, but watch what happens when I put the call on hold. Now it switches to the new call. And so now we can take a look if we want to. And this one happens to have return the results. Uh, we'll answer the call. We have that one. We'll put that one on hold. And now we're gonna get a third one just to show how we can handily um, get an additional call and how it interacts when we have multiple calls going and how it very uh, smoothly handles all the call pops. So there we have another call coming in and uh, you see it's Ryan and we can see his information over here. Once again, uh, accurate or no. Uh, so we answer that, we're talking to him and, and then we're thinking, okay, we're gonna go back to this Matt guy, pull him up and you'll notice it's showing his information. So the information just goes along very efficiently. One click call context. Uh, and it does it very, very smoothly. So I'll just put that call on hold and we can hang this call up and we'll retrieve that one, put it on mute so it doesn't. So now we'll talk a little bit. So you notice very efficiently, very smartly shows the correct call pop. And it's very easy also to configure this. So we can go into configuration and we have an URL here, and this the, the, the call pop can be a uh, Microsoft uh, Power App. It can be a, a line of business application that you have developed, or it can even be a public public uh, service like Anywho I'm using here just as a, an example. Just put it in there, and then you can uh, put the specific call information using a parameter, and away you go. And once again, of course, you know, this can be, these panels can be resized to fit your needs. They can be moved around, rearranged. And uh, Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams call pop functionality. Thank you.